say, Bill. I'm, I'm here. I just had to take, get this thing off of mute, and um, we, are, we are ready to go. Uh, so welcome. I'm, I'm glad to have you all folks here, uh, and as you can tell, I'm from Texas. Um, the uh, webinar today, um, we're going to be talking about uh, getting the most out of limbs, and as Jeff told you, uh, and I've been with uh, Seesaw, uh, been with Seesaw now for about six and a half years, and I've had about 28 years in laboratory information, starting with Limbs Administration, moving on over to technical sales with Bisense, uh, which uh, has now become Thermo in terms of sample manager, and uh, then uh, I went into consulting, and I've been doing consulting for about 20 years with the major Limbs vendors and uh, in a variety of industries. So um, for the agenda, we're going to talk a little bit about the specific question, are you getting the most out of your sample manager limbs? And then we want to talk about some of the productivity enhancements that sample manager has developed, how those can increase your user satisfaction, talking about whether you should upgrade, you might need to take a fresh look at your lab operations, uh, talk about some reasons to upgrade, and then a little bit about doing a risk-benefit analysis before upgrading. Uh, and then to wrap that all up, to end that out, we want to talk about the future enhancements that are coming with the next version of Sample Manager, which is 11.1. .1. It's not yet released, but this features, the new features are set, and we want to just have a real quick uh, discussion over what some of those things are going to provide. So you might be using an older version of LIMS. And if that's the case, you are clearly not going to be getting everything that the vendor has to offer with the newer versions because every new version has uh, either updates to some existing functions or it has new features. And uh, if you're in, an, in a validated or regulated environment where you have extremely high cost for regression testing and revalidating, uh, upgrading might be something you don't do right away. Um, but it's something that you need to think about, especially, if you, especially now if you're on version 9.2.1. Um, the, uh, the idea is that maybe needs and priorities have changed. Maybe that's why uh, you're not doing everything you could be doing. And when I talk about this one specifically, what I had in mind was that in today's climate, we have a whole lot of mergers and acquisitions going on. So you might be working for a company today, and tomorrow you all of a sudden are either working for a different company, or you may have some new line of business that you have to cover with your existing limbs, and you're not configured for that. So it would be a really good chance to take a look and see whether uh, there are some new functions and features in limbs to make uh, covering that new line of business easier. And in doing that, you're probably going to find some things for your current needs as well. Um, you might not have ever completed your second phase of your implementation. A phase implementation is basically been a classical way to put off things in limbs that you don't want to do right now for whatever the reasons might be. Uh, typically those reasons are we've got to get up and running as quickly as possible, spending as little money as possible. And so we'll phase one, we will do, you know, we'll do result entry and sample logins, all the normal things that you need to do for LIMS, but we're going to put off reporting, and we're going to put off instrument integration, and we're going to put off integration with any other external system until phase two or maybe even a phase three. And then what happens? Money runs out. Uh, priorities change. Um, as with the previous bullet, maybe you get bought by another company, and they don't want to do a phase two. So, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that you keep, there are not other things that exist right now in the system that might help you out and improve your uh, processes a bit. Then there's user adaptation. This is one that will definitely keep you from getting uh, the most from your sample manager limbs. Uh, when I was working at Dow Chemical uh, mid-'80s, in about 1986, we installed version 2.3 of sample manager, and that was my first limbs administration job. So uh, the... Uh, the, the, the issue that we had there was we were a pilot plant supporting about a million and a half pounds a year of production, and we had folks in the operations area that didn't think it was their job to log samples in for the lab, uh, and they didn't think it was their job to go into LIMS to look at their results, and the lab didn't want to use the LIMS because, well, we've always used pen and paper, and why should I use this newfangled software thing? Um, so with a little bit of 
leadership from our management, uh, the folks in the operations got the idea that, yeah, okay, maybe it helps the lab if we log the samples. So that happened, but the biggest um, advantage that we got in using the system was that uh, we did some extra training, um, tried to help people understand how the software worked, the easiest way to do things, shortcuts when they were available, uh, and our biggest detractor in the lab uh, soon became our biggest advocate. And all of a sudden, uh, this person was looking for features in LIMS that we hadn't used yet, and I was starting to get questions that came out like, well, why don't we do this? This is available. Is there a reason we're not using that? As opposed to, hey, it's not pen and paper. Why should I use it? So these are some reasons why you might not be getting uh, everything from your LIMS that you could be.